Ah, uh, hello. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Um, it's today the 12th of 13th. Um, coming up on one year sober. Um, it's been 11 months and a couple days. And I haven't done a reminder video to myself in a while. Just got a haircut from Steph. I like it. I like it nice and short on the sides. I'm going to let the top grow out. Um, things are going good. I just got home from Target. Work's going okay. It's giving me plenty of hours. Um, the room's looking great. We just got a new mattress. Well, I just got a mattress that Mary, Kristen's friend, was throwing out. Posturepedic. It's like sleeping on a cloud. Not to mention the micro. Uh, what is it? The memory foam topper that I have on it from Target. <laughs> Best $50 I ever spent. But, I mean, just thinking about stuff like that. I was thinking on my ride home today about what I was grateful for, what I was fighting for, and just stuff that I wanted to remember. Um, a year ago today, I was living in Brockton, um, doing really bad. I was drinking daily to oblivion um, lights out like I was drinking to sleep I was drinking to sleep maybe two hours at a time um, I was af too afraid to go outside like too anxious um, unless I had to unless I had to walk to work working at Cape Cod Cafe last year, and it was a good job, the people there were awesome, but I was a mess, um, kind of a shot of a room, I've come a long way, it's not, not, not the Ritz, but <clears throat> I really love how far I've come, um, yeah, last year I was almost permanently glued to a couch, with a bottle in my hand, I just feel like I remember being like stuck to that leather couch, and my buddy he was trying to help me out. He's a good guy. But I think I was, you know, beating myself down. He didn't know what to do. So, um, but yeah, um, I could barely rub two nickels together a year ago. Now I've got a car on the road. Some place to hang my hat, <clears throat> spend the winter. I've got a landlord I I really like. We've been getting along really well. He's a funny shit. He's a crazy old dude, but I love him. I got roommates that I love. You know, it wasn't easy. It didn't happen overnight, but the hard work really paid off. I was on probation for my second DUI. And, you know, blame it all on bad luck, but it'd probably be a million times I should have been in a lot worse trouble. And <clears throat> you know, I was struggling. And my probation officer, Dave Wood. He helped me out a lot. Um, my dad, my dad saved my life last year, last October. Came in and yanked me out of the misery that I was in. I was, I was ready to hang it up. Honestly, I remember feeling like, like I was gonna, like I didn't know what else to do. I was at the end of my rope. I couldn't do it anymore. I was in pain almost 24/7. <clears throat> I just had nothing going nothing going good now I've got things looking up you know I'm happy I've got my my health insurance under control 
I've got a regular paycheck. I mean, it's not <laughs> to be dancing about, but it's good. It's decent. I can look for a better job you know, if I want to. You know, I'm happy. I like the people that I work with. I have fun. I used to think that I could, you know, I could never have fun without a drink. I really did. I really thought, and I could. There's no way. And I've been struggling with that too. Thinking about, you know, um, moments in the future like weddings and stuff. If uh, you know, I could really see myself like at my daughter, if I ever had like a daughter at her wedding, or. I don't know, something, like a life event or at a funeral or something. Oh, man, I, I, you know, if I, this ever happened, I'd have to have a drink. I really did. I had some of those hang-ups. But... You know, the more I think about it, um, the more I think I can go without it. I've been really thinking about... Oh, man getting a pillow that I can lean up against. <laughs> Hopefully they go on clearance soon. But yeah, I really like my room. It's uh, a little messy, but I rearranged it so there's a little more room. You know, I got a couple pairs of kicks, fucking food, all the fans I need, <laughs> a little HD TV. Kenny let me borrow his PlayStation 3. I got my frogs. I got my laptop. Uh, good amount of crap for somebody that had nothing a year ago. Nothing but a bottle and some dirty clothes. I couldn't even dress myself. I remember wearing the same clothes for like three or four days in a row. And I was too afraid to go to the laundromat. Like, I, I was too anxious. It was messed up. I was real messed up. You know? People can come back. People can... do crazy, amazing things. Capable so much, if given a chance. You gotta see the potential in people, and... You know, have a little faith. So, <clears throat> you're almost at a year, buddy. You're almost at a year. You can make it. It's been a good year. 2015 has definitely been a comeback year. Man. Pat's one in the Super Bowl was awesome. I'll never forget that. That was such a good day. Started my own fantasy football league this year. Should be fun. It's going good so far. Um, you know, I gotta seriously get on top of the step work. I think I'm. I'm not like afraid of doing it. I just haven't gotten around to it. I do think it would be good to give back. I can feel it. I can. I feel like I want to. I want to do something. I want to work at a treatment center or... I don't know. Help, help other addicts. Help other people that are struggling, that don't know what they're doing. Going through the same kind of things that I was going through. be a mentor or a counselor or something. <clears throat> I don't know how, but things just seem to be falling into place. The world has a way of figuring things out. You know, bad things still happen. But things are much easier to deal with with a clear head much, much easier. You know, I've, I'm really 
grateful for everything I've learned along the way. I feel like I've been through a lot of shit. I don't really know where I'm going with this now, but, you know, I can look at myself in this selfie video and say I'm really proud of you. And don't forget where you were. Don't forget, you know, every day you're, you still got a reason to, you know, keep it up. biggest reason is um, my god kids, Tessa, Caleb, and Josh. I love them so much. I miss them so much. If I don't keep doing what I'm doing, I've, I'm just afraid I'm never going to see him again. I feel like that's the biggest thing that I messed up. My uh, trust with my family, Tia and Chris. I don't know how to make it up to them to fix it. I just hope that time will heal it. <clears throat> but there's nothing I feel so so much you know so strongly about I just miss every single day I feel like I'm missing them but if I keep doing what I'm doing, at least I can say I'm trying, and I hope that they'll understand that. Maybe not right away, but eventually, you know. I'm doing it for them. And, well, for myself. But they're a happy reason. facial hair. I don't think I want to grow it back out. Mm. Even the stubble's pissing me off. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't know, I like where my head's at. Today was a good day. I was thinking a lot about good stuff. So if you stumble upon this in the future, <laughs> Hopefully you'll have some happy memories. Kristen, by far. She's an angel. Almost been together. Nine months. She's an absolute sweetheart. I'm so lucky. I don't know how the two of us ended up together, but she's something else. I told her the other night that oh, and this was <clears throat> as true as it gets. She's like the first girlfriend that I've had that really makes me feel loved, like they love me as much as I love them. Because I've always been that kind of person where I've gone wholehearted into a relationship. All my focus, all my energy was, you know, whatever girl I was with at the time, that's what it was all about. I don't know, kind of like a diehard romantic, I guess. Or an idiot. <laughs> but. I feel it. I feel it back from her. Ugh. I 
like my flash shirt. I just started watching the show. It's freaking awesome. Yeah. I know. She makes me so happy. I am so grateful to have her. And I'm grateful to have the foundation. I'm grateful that, you know, my dad ripped me out of that place I was staying in Brockton. We had no idea what we were doing. You know, I think my mom wanted me to go to Teen Challenge or something, um, and that place was really weird, but my probation officer, um, you know, said, you know, if you're really struggling, you, you should section yourself, and I don't know if anybody can just section themselves, themselves, but I could because I was on probation, I, like, surrendered myself, section 35, I was just, I couldn't. I was a danger to myself, um, and I went through a detox, it's not as scary as it sounds in your head, I think, I think that would kind of throw me off if I didn't know about it, <clears throat> but it was amazing, it was a little bit of time off where you get to piece yourself back together. It's I mean, it's not a vacation, but, you know, you get to fix your head. I mean, there's people that'll help you and straighten you out. The time you take off and go through, like, a treatment center is like an investment on the rest of your life. It, uh, it was the best thing I ever did for myself, without a doubt. I wish I could have stayed a little longer, but things worked out the way they did for a reason. I felt like I got kicked out for stupid reasons, so I was late coming home. But at the end of the day, it was my own fault. I hate stupid rules. Sticklers for stupid rules. Uh, yeah, you know, things are slowly turning around. I don't even know where to begin, but things are looking up, you know. I want to start building towards the future, and I really feel like I can. It's, you know, it's in the cards now. so much I can uh, that's going through my head right now. Uh, but I'm coming up to the 19 minute mark. I think I've talked my talked to myself enough. But <clears throat> yeah. Keep thinking of all the people that helped me. All the people that put up with me. My parents, my sisters, Kate, Kate's mom. All the people that I hurt, all the friends that I burned through. More and more comes back every day, too. It's crazy. But that's neither here nor there. I'll try to make amends as I go. Alright, well. Keep at it, man. You're doing good things. Don't become ungrateful or try to rush anything. Things will come in time. Alright, 20 minutes is up. <laughs>